All right, to create a piece of music in EarSketch, once you've logged in, and again, you know that you've logged in because it has your username up here in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to go here to create a new script. Click it one time and ask you what you want your script to be called. I'm going to call this one Example, and then I want it to be in Python, so I click on Create. From there, it, I would like you to use the template that, we, that I gave you in, under Google Classroom. So if you go back over to our Google Classroom page and you go down to where it says creating your own music, if you click and open up that document, again you need to copy from the word from down to the double parentheses after the word finish. So I can right click on it and choose copy or do control C on my keyboard. Come back over to Ear Sketch and down here at the bottom I delete everything out and then I do control V to paste in that sample sketch or sample script. Notice it has things here. There are four sections. This top section, this is what the program needs to let it know that you're starting to create music. Um, this next section is the instrument, which again are the variables that you're going to be using. Then down here at the bottom or where it says my music. It shows you how to set each one of these lines up after Fit Media. Will you be using Fit Media? Again, notice the capital M in the word media. And then open parentheses and then four things. The name of your instrument, the track number you want it to play on, what measure you want it to start, and what measure you want it to end. So, to work with this, up here this top button that's got the, the instrument on it, I click on that to bring out the different instruments or sounds that you're able to use in your project. So if I wanted to search for, let's say, a synthesizer, put in the word synth, and notice it brings me back different results. I can change this to 100 so I see more things at a time. To get one to work, I just hit the play button. When you find one that you like, okay, I'm going to use this one right here. I come back over into my programming area or the digital audio workstation, click the cursor so it's blinking there, and then come back and hit this paste button. Notice it puts the whole name in there exactly as it needs to be. But I'm going to change this from instrument one to synth one. So again, it's the first synthesizer I'm using in my music. Then I'm going to go down here into Fit Media, or after the word Fit Media, I open parentheses, I'm going to put my instrument name, which again is that synth1, followed by a comma. Then the next thing I'm going to put is the track number I want it to be on. I don't have anything in my project now, so I'm going to put it on track 1. I want it to start in measure 1 and go until measure 8. Then I close my parentheses. Then I'm going to come up here for instrument 2. I'm going to come up and try to find a drum. It's a little too slow. Okay, I'll use this one. So I'm going to click my cursor here, click the paste, but again I'm going to switch this from instrument 1 to drum 1. And I'll come back down here, type in fit media, open up, do drum one. I'm going to put it on track two because I don't want it to be on the same one as my other music. I'm going to have it start in measure three, give the synthesizer a couple measures to play, and have it end in measure eight. Once I've done these things, I can come over here and click run. It should put the music up in the top for me. Notice I've got track one, which has got my synthesizer on it. I've got my track two, it's got my drums on it. So I come up here and click on play. They play together on the tracks they are, and you can see they're going to end here in measure eight. Right. To get it to play again, I just simply come back here and click this button to reset it, the play head back to the beginning. You can hit play too.